Hi, welcome to the demo video of Sentinel Meat Shop software, which can be used in meat shop and bakeries. Uh, on your, when you receive your till, you will see this shortcut on your till. Uh, once you click on the shortcut, it will start loading the software. On the login page, you can log in by entering the password. You can create multiple user account for your staff member. So password for every staff member. So you know who took the order uh, or if you don't want to tap in the password, you can use RFID reader, which is additional hardware. You can uh, we can send with the EPO system and you can assign a card or key fob to every staff member. They can touch and log in using the key fob. So once you enter the password, uh, it will bring you to the main screen. Uh, for the purpose of demo, I've just made few products. Obviously, you might have more categories, so you can add more categories. If you think uh, you're going to have more than uh, 30, 40 categories, then you can uh, <clears throat> make a button without picture to save a space, and then your button will look like these are small buttons you can make to make it a space on the main screen. So once you click, for example, on eggs, these are all the eggs. You click on the eggs, it will go to the card. Uh, if you're selling something by weight, let's say we go to the beef, uh, you will see all your products here. Again, if you think you got too many products, you can either make more categories or you can uh, avoid using the pictures on the button and make the button a little bit smaller uh, so it fit in the screen. If it's too many product, it will bring a scroll here. You can scroll down and you can go to the next page as well. So you can make pages inside the category as well. So if I press on beef mince, uh, at the moment, this uh, computer is not connected with the weighing scale, but I'll give you an idea. So as soon as I press the uh, beef mince, the weight here will automatically come from the scale. So let's say the total weight was 2.5 kg. So it will come automatically here and you press OK and software will calculate the weight with the price. So it multiply the weight with the price and give you a correct amount uh, to charge from the customer. Same with if you press, let's say, diced beef and it's 1 kg and it will charge 1 kg 9.99 if you um, doing joint 2 kg is 25.98 so once it's in the card you press the pay button if customer is paying you cash uh, you can press cash if they paying you by credit card you can do credit card or if the customer is uh, paying you uh, by uh, credit you can go to customers and you can add the customer let's say this customer uh, you can add and you can continue order and it will go as a not paid uh, so once you press pay and then pay do not paid it will go to the customer accounts and you can see the accounts of the customer as well so once it's go to the account you can always go to customer you can click on the customer and you can see uh, customer account history it will show you everything how much he owe you so the order number is 3 which was on 25th of September 2019 customer name is Ahmed and on the bottom level it's showing you the total outstanding amount which is 75 pound 93 pence if customer is paying something you can click on customer and you can pay amount you can tell okay altogether how much he owes and then you can tell uh, customers paid you 75 pound Balance is 3592 and press save. Now it's showing the balance 3592. If you see customer account history, on the left hand side it will show you all the invoices in total, and on the right hand side it will show you the uh, money paid in uh, for the customer. And when you go to pay amount, it will always show you the current balance on the customer, and then you can do it on card or credit card, whatever way they are paying. You can do the uh, balance on the customer by card. Let's say he's paying 31 pounds, so it's now on the card. At the end of the day, if I go to the reports, it shows me all not paid amount, paid amount, everything is there. Uh, cash sale, everything is uh, there as well. So if I take some cash orders, and then I'll take some eggs as well. Pay customer is a cash customer is paying you cash. And now if I go to end of the day report, it will show you the cash sale, not paid sale, and then everything is there. And you can see sales analysis as well. So you can see how, uh, how many items you sold from meat section and how many you sold from the uh, uh, eggs, like eggs or chicken, you sold separate. Uh, you can see sales by product wise. So if you want to see exactly what you sold, all this information is there. You can print this information or you can export it to Excel as well. Adding product in the software is very easy. Let's say you want to add something to the beef. Uh, you go to manager, press pause items, and then go to products. Click on beef, press add, give the product name. Give 
give the price in kg for example you're charging 12.99 and then kg is a unit and then department which department it belongs and press save this product is now made so if i go back to beef you will see beef fat free and then it, if you do one kg it will charge 12.99 uh, when you press the button, obviously it will get the weight automatically here from the scale, whatever the weight is, let's say 1.29 and all you need to do is press OK and it will put it into the cart. Uh, it's very easy to use software. Same thing if customers, for example, buying this beef more than one kg, you can increase the quantity to five and it will calculate five. Uh, so you can increase the quantity. If, you, if customer changes mind, you can delete it from the cart. Uh, or if you want to delete the whole order, you can press refresh, it will delete the whole order as well. In the order list, you can see all the previous orders. Uh, you can click on any order if the customer want refund, let's say this order customer want refund. Uh, you can press refund, it will ask you if it's a partial refund or whole refund. If you click on partial, it will show you all the content. And let's say customer want to refund this 24X, you can double click on it and then pay how you refunding, what's the reason. And then how you refunding are you paying cash as a refund or credit card and if you press cash at the end of the day it will show you the refunds in the sale as well how much you refunded here on the bottom and you can print this report by pressing x report you can print uh, you can take the z sales which will print this report and then reset the uh, system for the next business day to the zero you can see hourly sales you can uh, record your user clock in clock out hours so you can record how many hours they work in a week uh, there are loads of feature you can cash up so let's say at the end of the night the total sale is 108 pound you can count 50 pence one pence you got 50 and then 10 pence you got 10 10 pound note you got 6 and 20 pound note 3 uh, and then 2 pound coins 5 and once you press calculate it will tell you uh, how much is the calculated amount and what's the difference if it's in minus or plus so it calculates the and you can print this information on the receipt as well you can print the shelf label uh, from this software as well. So if you want to print, uh, if you're displaying, for example, in a freezer and you want to print stickers or you want to print as a paper shelf label, you can print the shelf label as well. You can create more user account. Uh, you can give permissions to user account so you can tell uh, what the user can do. Let's say you don't want your staff to go and see the sales figure or mess around with the products. You can restrict them. They can only take an order. They can't go to the manager area and uh, do the price change. Uh, you can change quickly, print and change price from here as well. So if you're changing price, you just click price change and then click on this button. It will show you all the product. Uh, you can click on any product, for example, this beef and you can change the price from here as well. And uh, you can search the product. If you can't make, find a button, you can search the product. You can double click on the product and it will ask the weight and then it will go to the cart as well. So you can sell by pressing the button. You can sell by searching the product. Let's say this beef joint, uh, you're selling three kg. You can write three and then press okay. It will go to the cart as well. Uh, for the hardware, we got many models available. Uh, so I'll show you different models and their prices. So the basic model is the single screen EPO system where you will get a single screen touch screen system with a cash draw caller, uh, cash draw caller ID for your customer. So when you're taking a phone order, your customer rings, you will get the telephone number automatically uh, and then a precip printer and a weighing scale. So the price for the system only is this system is uh, 875 plus VAT and the weight scale is uh, around 260 pound plus VAT with a pole one up to 15 kg. So this set is uh, I can do with the weighing scale. So um, 875 plus VAT for single screen. If you're looking to buy a double screen one like this one where you have two screen one for you to take order and one screen on the back to display your promotions as a picture you can run as a slideshow and when you're taking the order it will display the order details on the back screen this one is 100 pound expensive so this one is 975 plus VAT and the weight scale price obviously remains the same uh, I can do weight scale for you for 250 pound plus weight uh, so and then there are some more order more stylish model like the colorful one a red one or orange one but these are very expensive inside all the system are same 
all system got Intel motherboard, 4 GB RAM, 64 GB hard drive space. It's just the different brands. Uh, these one are colorful one are around 1600 plus VAT. If you want to buy Toshiba one, the Toshiba one is um, uh, around um, like this pause lab. This is Taiwan made. It comes with three, three years warranty. This is 1200 plus VAT EPO system. And then on top 250 for the scale. Uh, this one is also Taiwan made. It comes with five years warranty. Uh, that's 1350 uh, plus VAT. And if you want Toshiba, that's 1600 plus VAT, the Toshiba one. So we got many models. Basically, inside all companies are using the same hardware, Intel motherboard and 4GB RAM, 64GB hard drive. It's just the different brand, uh, different warranty levels and uh, different styles. So the basic one is works the same speed. Only the difference with the basic one and the expensive one is the touch. Uh, the basic one is using um, resistive touch. So if you touch the screen 100 times, maybe it does not recognize one time. Maybe it's, maybe it's not every time out of 1,000, maybe one time it doesn't recognize the touch and you have to touch the screen again. Whereas if you buy the Ori's one like this model or the Toshiba one or Taiwan made like this one, uh, this is the Toshiba one, by the way. So uh, if you want Ori one or Toshiba or Taiwan model, any Taiwan model, they have got capacitive touch, which is very accurate. It's like a mobile phone. Uh, so it's very accurate. Uh, but most of the companies they are using resistive touch to save the cost because it's not make a lot of difference. But if your shop is very, very busy, then I suggest you buy invest on the expensive one, which is capacitive touch because uh, it's very accurate and B, uh, it's got three to five years warranty as well. But this system uh, comes with one year warranty. Uh, we are selling it for last seven, eight years, same supplier. Uh, out of 100, maybe two systems, three systems are faulty within a year. Otherwise, these system life is around eight to 10 years. Uh, if you turn it off every night, if you don't leave it on for a lifetime, the life is very good for this system. Around eight to uh, nine years, it will last easily. Uh, so you don't have to invest in the expensive model. It's up to you, it's purely your choice. The scale we give you is the Adam Vectra scale with a pole. It weighs up to uh, 15 kg. It does not print any label. And in our software, you don't need to print a label on the sticker. Uh, all you need to do is just uh, take the weight and then give the receipt to the customer as well. So let me know if you have any questions and then uh, I hope you like this demo. If you have any questions, let me know and then we'll see from there. Thank you.